Life is too short to not pursue your passion. Sometimes um, you know, a person is lucky enough to find something they just like to do uh, for the sake of doing it. So I've been wanting to uh, own my own brewery since I started homebrewing way back in 1993. I was hired in 94 as a college student to, to do the lab work for uh, Jurgen at Bayern Brewing. And then as soon as I graduated in 95, he hired me as a full-time production brewer. One of my best memories is going to the Oregon Brewers Festival uh, back in 99. Uh, and I brought um, a stout that I'd been working on for years out there. Um, and it was the fourth brew to sell out. There were like 70, 75 breweries, something like that there. And um, so it sold out really quick. And it was like, for me, it was kind of like we're in the World Series or something. Back in uh, you know, the late 90s, I was living in uh, Kansas City, Missouri, and I wanted to move back to Montana. And uh, so I looked at U-Hauls and uh, you know, tow dollies and all that stuff. It was kind of expensive. I found this bus, though, in the classified ads. And I thought, what is this thing? So I went out and looked at it. And at that point, I thought, man, this would be really neat to create a brewery. Uh, a whole theme around this bus. Uh, the brew is going to be located uh, about a mile from the ASU campus. The venue, the, the building itself, really lends itself to live music. So I really want to do, uh, you know, have some rockabilly bands come in. Uh, I think that, that really ties in with the bus. Um, it'll be really a casual atmosphere. I plan on building the bar out of antique doors and having a lot of uh, you know, cool old, you know, rock show posters and you know, overhead doors. So the bus will be parked right. Uh, in front of the overhead door, we'll have a food truck on site, and we hope to have a rotating lineup of some of the, the best trucks out there. Uh, so there'll be something for everybody. So I plan on starting out with a, a seven barrel system, you know, four fermenters, four serving tanks, and then uh, expanding from there, getting more additional fermenters and serving tanks so I can expand my lineup. And so those initial four beers, I think I'll do a, a wheat beer, probably a chamomile wheat, a session IPA. Uh, the same stout recipe that I brought to the Oregon Brewers Festival years ago, and then uh, you know the fourth beer will probably be, probably be a Scottish ale, and maybe the the same recipe that I won uh, the homebrew contest with. I hope you're excited about our brewery. Please like and share us on Facebook. Check out the awards that we have to offer. If you like what you see, please contribute. Also, if you want to own part of the brewery, uh, please email me. I'll send you a link to the business plan. You can check that out and see if that works for you too. Thanks a lot, and have a great day.